स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम एक्सप्लेन क्लास सिक्स चैप्टर सिक्स माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल 2010 माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट पॉपुलर स्प्रेडशीट सॉफ्टवेयर इट इज वाइडली यूज्ड टू परफॉर्म मैथमेटिकल कैलकुलेशंस द डाटा इज स्प्रेडशीट इन अ टेबुलर फॉर्म कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ रोज एंड कॉलम्स components of a worksheet cell a cell is an intersection of a column and a row in a worksheet a cell can contain up to 32767 characters active cell when you click on a cell a thick black border differentiates it from the rest of the cells it indicates the cell is active range a range is a group of contiguous cells which form the shape of a rectangle name box name box is located just above the column heading on the left side of the window formula bar the formula bar is located to the right of the name box next column heading alphabets across the top border of each worksheet are called column headings these headings identify column with letters a to z double a through a to z and up to xfd for a total of 16384 columns row headings row headings are the number marked as 1 to 148576 along the left border of the worksheet status bar the status bar is located at the bottom of the excel window moving around the spreadsheet to input data in our worksheet we have to move the cell pointer from one cell to another with the help of various keys defined in the given table types of data three types of data can be entered in microsoft excel which are as follow numbers text and formula numbers numbers are values that consist of numerals from and the characters like plus minus at the rate dollar percent and etc are included in numeric data by default numbers are right aligned in a cell text text data can contain alphabets numbers spaces and special characters by default text data is left aligned in a cell formula a formula is a mathematical equation involving number values operators and cell addresses used for performing calculations on a worksheet formula begin with an equal sign performing calculations to calculate the total expense in h3 type b3 plus c3 plus d3 plus e3 plus f3 plus z3 and press the enter key the sum of the values in the cell b3 to g3 is calculated and displayed in the cell h3 saving a workbook to save a workbook follow the given steps click on the file tab and select the save option click on the file 
will be and type the name of file and click ok to save button the file is saved thank you